Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to my channel. As I told you uh, a few months ago, at my workplace I came across uh, an old uh, lot of transistors, uh, various kind of them, uh, mainly germanium transistors. And I found this guy. At first it, it seems strange to me, it seems some combination between a transistor and a tube uh, at the first uh, sight for me it seemed to be a movie store but uh, searching for him on the internet I found that this is a PNP germanium transistors it's called P410 uh, and they say that it's working uh, as high as 400 megahertz which seems quite amazing for a germanium transistor from the first uh, generation of uh, commercially available transistors uh, it seems that it, it's worked at very high frequencies so I was uh, wondering uh, if I can uh, take uh, another challenge a challenge that I had uh, um, some time ago uh, to build a frequency modulation receiver, an FM receiver uh, on the VHF uh, uh, frequency. Um, so I thought that it's a good uh, it's a good idea to start experimenting with these transistors to see if it really. Uh, can work um, on on such high frequencies. Well, uh, I'm not using it at 400 megahertz. I'm using it on the radio band, on the FM radio band, uh, which is 88 uh, to 108 megahertz. But it's quite high. Uh, however, so uh, combining uh, various uh, super regenerative uh, schematics uh, and audio amplifiers from different radios I came up with this uh, with this um, um, schematic that you can see here uh, already mounted on the PCB and it has the transistor uh, here of course, the first stage is super regenerative, so, re so it's, uh, it's really simple, uh, nothing uh, complex here. Just one transistor, uh, the choke uh, on the emitter, and um, the audio part is, in a matter of fact, uh, the audio part of the Electron M. Um, radio receiver which was sold as kit when I was young um, in the um, it, it was provided by the um, uh, Soviet Union uh, as kit uh, for uh, for young boys uh, to practice with electronics so uh, let's see if it can receive anything uh, the coil is four turns um, on um, 10 millimeters um, um, air uh, inside. Uh, let's see if uh, it can pick anything uh, this receiver. So with 9 volts it started. You have the hissing uh, of any uh, super regenerative receiver which is sometimes quite annoying by the way and let's try to tune it let's see if it picking any station it does you can imagine that it's not the first test of the radio of course Non è successo niente, 
Nice piece of music on Romania uh, cultural uh, station. The variable capacitor is salvaged from an old uh, uh, VEF uh, Sigma uh, radio with tape uh, recorder. It can be found on other Russian uh, uh, FM tuners too, like in the Okean uh, radio receivers and um, in some Selena uh, radios from the Soviet Union. So. Uh, of course, the transistors are germanium uh, Soviet transistors, and um, this radio is working quite fine for uh, such a simple schematic. Of course, it's not stereo, of course, the quality is not high fidelity, uh, it's just a small radio for, uh, for children if you want, but it's working, uh, it's working fine uh, uh, for, for such a schematic. Thanks for watching, wish you all the best from Romania, 73.